Hello. In this session, you will learn briefly about our online manufacturing systems engineering programs here at University of Kentucky. The MFS program is administered by the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. The Director for Graduate Studies is Professor Foslina Botterdine, and Student Affairs Officer is Hannah Tyler. On this page, you can see the contact information for both the Director of Graduate Studies and the Student Affairs Officer. Please never hesitate in reaching out if you have any questions about the program or admissions processes. The manufacturing systems programs are for students looking to gain knowledge, skills, and attitude required to create value by designing, manufacturing, and managing more sustainable products, processes, and systems. There are four core courses. These core courses have some major areas of knowledge and skills needed as a manufacturing engineer. To briefly go over these four core courses, um, the MFS 606 Global Issues in Manufacturing, this seminar course will introduce students to a variety of global issues in manufacturing. MFS 505, Modeling and Analysis of Manufacturing Processes. This course is aimed at providing students in mechanical and manufacturing engineering basic knowledge and understanding of the major manufacturing processes for modeling, monitoring, and control of these processes. MFS 605, Modeling, Simulation, and Control for Manufacturing. The purpose of this course is to examine methods and systems from the perspectives of modeling, simulation, and control of manufacturing facilities. And finally, MFS 613, Sustainability, Ethics, and Leadership in Manufacturing Organizations. This course is intended to provide future manufacturing managers and leaders a basic understanding of the important theories and practices necessary to successfully manage and lead teams to achieve manufacturing organizational objectives. So for the Masters in Manufacturing Systems Engineering, we have a Plan A and a Plan B option. The Plan A is a thesis option, which requires 30 hours of coursework plus thesis research. And then the Plan B non-thesis option, that is 30 hours of coursework. And the non-thesis requirements will be determined by a committee and faculty advisors at the end of your 30 hours of coursework. Now, each of these options do require the four core courses. However, after that, there's a little bit of flexibility in how you choose to um, continue the rest of your coursework. So for Plan A, there are two options. There is option one, which is four elective courses plus six credit hours of MFS 768. And then option two is six elective courses, which is a total of 18 credit hours. With Plan B, you are able to complete six elective courses. Another option that we have is our graduate certificates. So through the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, we do have a graduate certificate in manufacturing systems. Once again, the director of this graduate certificate is Dr. Foslina Botterdine. The certificate will be included in your academic transcript. There is a little bit of a perk of doing this graduate certificate, especially if you are considering the master's program as well. So something to note is that courses earned for the graduate certificate can also be counted towards your manufacturing systems engineering master's degree. However, if you are also pursuing an additional certificate at the same time, unfortunately, those courses that you are earning on your manufacturing systems graduate certificate cannot be counted towards another certificate as well. With your manufacturing engineering program, there are a couple of different research areas provided here that you can kind of get in an idea on. So multidisciplinary research areas can include modeling and analysis of manufacturing processes, 
product design and analysis, modeling and analysis of manufacturing systems and supply chains, lean manufacturing, sustainable manufacturing, which includes products, processes, and systems, as well as healthcare system analysis. In addition, you'll have the opportunity to work extensively on industry projects with applied research. If you are interested in learning about some of our faculty and their specific research areas of interest, if you visit our program website, you will find a list of our faculty and their applicable research that they are currently working on as well as past projects. To briefly go over some of the admissions requirements for both of these options that we have spoken about so far. So for the Manufacturing Systems Engineering Master's Program, you must have a GPA of at least a 2.8 on a 4.0 scale. And then in terms of the requirement with the background of your bachelor's degree, so you can either have a BS degree in an engineering related field or the equivalent, or another option if you do not have an engineering background specifically is having a bachelor's degree in a physical science or a related area. Um, however, there may be some preparatory coursework that is required depending on if the baseline knowledge um, is being met with that bachelor's degree or not. Something to note is that a GRE is not required for our Manufacturing Systems Engineering Master's Program. For our international applicants, you will be required to provide proof of um, proficiency in English. A TOEFL or IELTS score can be provided or additional paperwork showing that your um, coursework was taught in English in your prior education. You will be required to submit three letters of recommendation, a resume, and statement of purpose. For the graduate certificate in manufacturing systems, the GPA requirement is slightly higher with falling at a 3.0 or greater on that 4.0 scale. Once again, we are looking for a bachelor's degree in an engineering background or in technology management, business, chemistry, math, physics, or once again, other related areas. You also must show successful completion of a college mathematics course um, consisting of differential and integral calculus. You also need to provide a statement of purpose, a resume slash CV, and then just two letters of recommendation. So thank you for logging on to our information session. If you have any questions about the program itself or the admissions requirements that we just went over, please never hesitate in reaching out to the Student Affairs Officer or the Director of Graduate Studies. We are here to answer any questions that you might have and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.